パパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパパ A wedding breakfast. A wedding preparation breakfast. What now? Yeah, and then I'll take you to work. Come on! We got loads of plans to make. Like, do we get a honeymoon? Of course we get a honeymoon. Right, but do we go on our own or do we take the kids? And what about this one? Church or registry office? <laughs> Church? Well, I agree, but why don't we go somewhere special to make all these decisions? Just say yes. <sighs> What about the kids? Who's going to get them off to school? School? Are you kidding? They were partying till. I mean, they were still up when we came to bed. Let's leave them notes. Let's give them the day off to mark the occasion because, after all, this is a royal wedding, isn't it? <laughs> It's William and Mary. Mm. <laughs> mm. That's that's four or five months. I thought we were getting married as soon as possible. William, four or five months is no time at all. Yes, it is. You're not thinking. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Okay, what about? Okay, um. Okay, where are we going to live? Oh. No, all right, yeah, yeah. I don't mind. Let's try your place. <laughs> my place? We wouldn't all fit in my flat. Well, that's what I thought. But would we all fit in your house? Because we might have stayed over, but, but this is moving in. And never mind all our stuff. I mean, the house is big enough for you and the girls, but it's going to be six people. And pretty soon that's going to be six adults, because they're all growing up. And they're all used to having their own rooms, which they'd have to share, which could be tricky. William. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're saying that we should. But I mean, getting a bigger place, buying and selling and. Four months? That's, that's not possible. There's change. No, 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 wait, wait. All I'm saying is that, you know, let's see what the problems are and, and get on top of them before the wedding. Hi, Doris. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, we, we've got three women on the go, and there's only me and Jilly on the team. And she's been on since yesterday afternoon. All right, I'll be there in half an hour. Okay, bye. Hello. William. Cousin Nicholas. Uh, I tried you at home, but uh, Mrs. Ball said that you'd, um, you'd left. I'm、uh, having breakfast in Piccadilly. Oh, really? Splendid. <laughs> I've arrived in the office through a veritable barrage of messages, faxes, emails. Do you work already? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like to get in ahead of the crowd, see what they're up to. Right.、Uh, so, see you in a jiff, yes?、Uh, well. It's very urgent. Very. Bye. Can I ask what it's about? Oh, come on, it might be good news. Maybe it's about your mother's will. Oh, God, no. Look, why don't you go around there and find out and give me a call later, all right? And tonight, we'll name the day. We'll fix a definite date. And we'll start in the house. Yeah, all right. Okay? It's car key. Oh, thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, you bad boy. He's a wonderful master, and,、uh, and we have mice. <laughs> uh, no, I wonder. Come through here, will you? Yes, I, 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 I just wonder what exactly it is that you think you were doing yesterday at Excelsior Funerals. Oh,、uh, it's about that, is it? Yes, that, yes. Right, well, I've decided not to sell. One very simple question. 
Did you sign contracts for the sale of Shawcross and Son? Yes, I did, but I tore them up. Oh, yeah, I know, yes. Yeah. They have it on CCTV tape. They're sending me a copy. But they didn't tear up their contracts, William. Indeed, they still want Shawcross and Son. And to that end, here's a copy of their banker's draft transferring the sale price into your account. Yes, now, I'm not selling anymore. I'm going to marry Mary. You're getting married? Mm, mm. And I think that selling was a, a mistake. Uh, yes, but not as far as they're concerned, you see. And the law, I'm afraid, is with them, not you. And they are, quite obviously, very litigious. The business is sold, William. Right. Let's contest it. <laughs> Please, William. I counsel you. Excelsior Funerals are a multi-multi-million dollar corporation. You go to court over this and I guarantee only one possible outcome. You will lose. They'll be awarded costs and you'll end up with nothing. I'm very sorry. But Shawcross and Son, name and business are no longer yours. Have you done two? Yes. This is crazy. I know, it's ridiculous. Where's Stella? I do. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry. Is everything okay? Sorry, we've lost the. We can't hear the heartbeat on the, on the, on the bell. All right, let's have a look. Are you okay? It's just suddenly stopped. Well, that can happen. Let me just move this. Just want to move on to your side a little bit. That's it. There we go. So the head's right down and the baby's turning, so it's just moving out of range. It's just I couldn't feel it moving and it, and it stopped kicking. That's just all part of the baby getting ready. Mary, sorry. Word, please. Yeah, just hang on a sec. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do a fetal scalp electrode that just involves putting a clip on the baby's head, OK? So you can hear it all the time, yeah? that make you feel better. OK. Well, let's have a think about it. I'll be back in a minute, yeah? This is crap, Stella. I'm wiring up yet another woman because there's only two of us working the unit. No other reason. Yep, and we've got a woman coming in. She was going to have a home birth, but the baby's in a breech position. Who, Tracy Miller? Yeah, that's right. Well, she tried to have the baby in a flat on her own. Just her and her four-year-old daughter. Oh, my God. Neighbours called the police and social services. Anyway, when they get here, they'll go straight to theatre for a caesarean. So could you get up there? Yeah. And I'll take over here. What's what? Where are they? Well, needs an FSE. Well, doesn't need one. Maternity unit manager, to take call on line two, please. Hello? Unit manager, oh, William, hi. Call yeah, no, hi. no, it's just, it's just bonkers here. Now, I've got this woman coming in. And, well, you know, she's a single mum, just like me, and two kids. And, well, one kid and another one coming down. You know, I, I promised her a home birth, and, which isn't going to happen, but she, she tried to go ahead and have it on her own anyway. And she had postnatal depression last time, and. Oh, William, look, let's just get married, OK? Let, let, let's just do it now. You were right. Let's just, let's just get married and, and, and get away from here. Mary, I've lost Shawcross and Sons. What? You're making me sell it. Just ripping up the contract wasn't enough. I'm not an undertaker anymore. <sighs> William... Will Mary Gilbert I'm going to start again, obviously. William, I, I, I'm really sorry. I've got to go. I'm being paid. I've got to go up to the... What? Yeah, no. We will talk later, I promise, all right? I've, I'm, no, I've, I'm sorry. I've got to get off the... <sighs> Goodbye. All right, yeah, bye. Taxi! Mary Gilchrist to the other Yes, I'm coming. Mary Gilchrist to the other Which way do you want to go, mate? Down here or left at the end? Either, I don't mind. I'm very sorry, but Shawcross and Son, name and business are no longer yours. Would your flatmate mind? Bogdan, no. Bogdan's long gone. Bogdan's back in Poland. You know, I've got a postcard. No, oh. it's just the money, you know? Maybe we should save. Oh, your long streak of <laughs> loveliness. Oh! Lovely, tender, lovely, sweet. A woman's touch doesn't cost when a man's made her happy. You have made my life complete. And I love you so. <laughs> uh...
No, William, no. I am not. I am not. Not? No. I told that Mr. Two Hats not to sleep in the beds, and there he was, as bold as brass. So I'm washing the sheets, and I've sent him on his way. Yes, I think I saw him. And I've packed the boys and Julia off to school, but I'm afraid Kate's still here. And I'm sorry to say this, William, but she's really getting a little difficult. Yes. The locks have been changed. We can't get in. Uh, yes, I know. You better come in. Come in. Hello, Mr. Shawcross. Oh, hello, Timothy. How are you? Have you had breakfast? Uh, yes, I have actually. Yes. What did you have? Scrambled eggs. Got the paper. Good. <laughs> I'll see you around, Timothy. See you around. Oh, uh, she's a single mother. Uh, this is her second. Her first was um, posterior, but definitely not breech, and not a bad birth as far as I can remember. But she did have postnatal problems. Yes, us not having the notes doesn't really now. work in this okay. situation, does it? Where is she? Where have you taken her? You couldn't find her. I'm sorry, she wouldn't tell us very well. What's this? Why are you, Tracy? Hello, Mrs. Miller. I'm Mr. Cargill. Who are you? Let's just stay where we are, shall oh, we? I'm sorry, excuse me. Tracy. I was doing it. I was, I was getting there. It's all these bloody people. Tracy, breathe. Oh, oh, breathe. Good girl. Tracy, Tracy, stop. OK, stop. It's not going to happen, OK? What you want can't happen. This is happening. Now, your baby's in breach position, OK? And you're tired. No! Yes, you are. I can see you are. No, no, I'm not having a cesarean! Tracy, oh. come on, listen to me. Now, this baby is coming out bum first, OK? Now, if you start delivering and get into difficulties, then that's past the point of no return, OK? A cesarean isn't even an option. And if you're tired, and you are, then that's real trouble for your baby and for you, OK? Now, it's dangerous. So where are they taking Jodie? They are not taking Jodie. They are. They've done it already. OK, where is she? Downstairs, outside. All right, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to get her, all right? She wasn't scared. She was doing great. All right. Hi there, I'm Tracy's midwife. We need Jodie upstairs. Hiya, I'm Mary. Do you remember me? Yeah, it's Mum all right? Yeah, she's fine. She just wants you near. Excuse me. To come with me. Excuse me. And feel free to follow. We're waiting for the social services. Yeah, I'm sure they'll find us. Yeah. You are somewhere? So I'm really sorry. Um, and it's all my own doing, but there it is. Shawcross and Sons are no longer ours. It's gone. The deal is done. And very strange it is, uh, not having a, a business and not to have the old premises. But, well, I'm going into the market to start up again. This isn't the end of the story. This is a beginning. And as promised, because you two have been as much a part of this business as I have, um, I'm going to be giving you each 5% of the sale price. And that's, um, that's £58,000 each. Oh, William, uh, could uh, Jane and me, I don't know, adjourn? Uh, yeah, well, why don't I go? I'll, I'll go. Hello, Jane. Dad, the water's cold. Mm, well, turn the immersion on. I did half an hour ago, and it's still cold. Look, Kate, um, can I...? See what I mean? Uh... What? What do you want? Well, look, um, Mary and the boys are going to be moving in sort of permanently. Well, yeah, you're getting married. Well, yes, and... Well, come on, I'm not daft. You and Brendan. Something's going on. With me and, and Brendan? Well, you were both out there in that shed. Dad, he was interested, OK? And what was I supposed to do? I mean, you don't think I fancy him, do you? Well, I... Uh, oh, thanks. Well, no, no, I mean... Look, I let him down gently in the moment past, OK? But please, me and Brendan, God. All oh, right, well, thank you for your gentleness and understanding. Yeah, can we now get a hot water system that can deal with more than one bath? Oh. 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 
You've got a problem with him, you've got a problem with me. Dad sorted. So when and where, Kate? Who is she? Very cooperative. May I? Yes. Tracy? Tracy? Look who's come to see you. Tracy? Hey. Hey. Hey, hey. One of your friends in to look after her, all right? Yeah. Which friend's that? How are we doing? Nearly there. Yes, we're ready. Right. Uh, what we're thinking, ah, and this is up to you, obviously, what we're thinking is whether Jane and me could reinvest the money that you're offering us back into the business. As partners? Well, junior partners. Uh, but with a say? But not much of a one. In fact, you can have my money for nothing. I just want to be part of what's coming. Well, listen. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yes. Partners? And with a say? <laughs> the splendid that'll be better than before. And I'll tell you what. Because we can't use the name of Shawcross and Son, that's gone as well. We could call ourselves Spaulding and McKinnon. <laughs> <laughs> or McKinnon and Spaulding. That'd be a new start, wouldn't it? Our names and letters. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful baby boy. I can't tell you how delighted I am with well, you. Well, search for new premises starts now. Yeah. I'll get to work and make up a list. All right, we'll speak later. Bye. Hello, Mr. Shortcross. Timothy. Nothing in the papers. No? No. Timothy, have you had elevenses? Elevenses? No. Oh, good. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Ball. Want one? No, thanks, Timothy. Do you think your mother will be wondering where you are? Don't think so, no. Maybe we should call her anyway. Nah. Why well, after the fun anymore? She's only sleeping. Only in the next room. That side down, I'll tuck this side. Keep it nice and warm, yeah? yeah? And then your big sister's gonna look after you. Yes, she is.
Timothy, you do know what's happened to your mother, don't you? Yeah. You know that she's died? Yeah. And what that means? Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing what she said. That's for you. I came out and see. She told me not to carry that in the street. That's got the phone numbers of my sisters for you to phone. And then I will speak to them. And that's the funeral thing you was see, yeah? Because Mum bought that. She paid you for the funeral, yeah? And she told me what happens next. She told me you'd take her away. Take her away to your funeral place. She doesn't come back. Well, and she said, um... Mr. Shawcross will handle everything then. Hmm. He will look after you. I don't have premises right now, and I really appreciate this. You're welcome, William. Thanks very much. I'll, um... No, I'll come round later. Right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Nicholas? Yes, Nicholas? Yep. Well, I spoke to your secretary. Yes, Nicholas. Nicholas, I was just informing you of what's happened. And I'm informing you of what your situation is, William. And I can tell you it's... William? William! <laughs> How are you, Timothy? Just seeing her off. There she goes. Off she goes. Has Pam spoken to your sister yet? The social services lady? She's on the phone, talking to my sister. Right, several options. Your sister can't get here till nine at the earliest. Nine this evening. She lives in Guildford. Yes, so what are we going to do with you till then? Well, we might as well come in and have a cup of tea then. A deputation? Yeah, from your entire midwifery staff. It was like battery farming in here today still. Oh, come on now, that's not fair. On the women, no, it's not. And it's not fair on us either. You know, it makes some of us wonder whether we want to do this or not, you know? Okay. No, it's not okay. You know, and Tracy Mellor should be in a side room so her daughter can stay with her. I won't be able to swing that. Swing it? That woman had chronic postnatal depression when she had her first child, and nothing that's happened here today makes me think it's going to be any different this time. You know, she is our responsibility for now and for the next few weeks. Your dad's quite handsome, isn't he? He is. Yeah. Your mum's pretty too. She was, wasn't she? Do you think you could take a picture of this and, you know... Hi, guys, I'm home. Yeah. Sorry, William, but stern words are required. Do you hear? Yes. Look, I feel kind of weird doing this stuff here, in the house. Oh. Yeah, OK. Yeah, we need somewhere we can go. Oh, right. Because we've got to be cool with each other here. Otherwise, with those two downstairs, your mum, my dad, Mrs Ball... Yeah, we'll get sussed. Yeah. Well, I know a place, like, where we can go now. Whenever we want. First of all, William, don't put the phone down on me, please. I'm only protecting your interests, which, quite frankly, at the moment, is an uphill struggle as it is. Dad, I'm going to Lucy's to pick up the work I missed today. Oh, OK. Hi, Kate. <laughs> Cousin Nicholas. And Brenda's not to go in my room. Why would I want to? And my room's my room. He's downstairs. Kate. And I'm going to get some things from the flat, yeah? Right, see you later. Does Mary know? Where are you going? Not with you. Sorry. Gosh, isn't she? <laughs> Kate, you know? <laughs> Sorry. Yes. 
Yes. You cannot. Cannot sell a business, William, and then go poaching your former firm's clients. Nicholas. William, no. William, no, no, no. They will sue the pants off you. Just a sec. These are exceptional circumstances. Page 2, clause 10, section C states... Nicholas, shut up a minute. It's a prepaid funeral. Precisely. Oh, for God's sake. Come with me. You might do well to remember the reason you employ me. This is the son of the deceased. What? No, I didn't go in. Everything all right, Timothy? Coronation Street, yeah. Timothy, this is Nicholas. No talking, please. I'm watching this. Sorry? What is going on? Well, she's in there. I could see that. He came this morning because his mother told him that I was the person to come and see when she dies because she'd prepaid for a funeral with us. Yes, I see. I then discovered that his mother's looked after him his whole life without any support at all, so much so that the social services don't even know he exists. It's not uncommon, apparently, but new to me. And yes, there's a couple of sisters, but from brief phone conversations, I say that neither of them's that interested, so that's what I'm dealing with. And if Shawcross and Son want their prepaid money, they can keep it. It won't even get touched because I'm organising this funeral through another undertaker's so that I can do for Timothy what his mother paid me to do. And if anybody has a problem with that, I really don't care. Yes, admirable and really worthy, William, but legally flawed. Now, if you hadn't torn up the contract, okay, you'd be able fired. to look... OK, you're fired. OK? What? You're fired. William, my job is to point out potential disasters. And... I'm not a Jeremiah, but you tell me you're getting married, and I have an immediate reaction. Get a prenuptial agreement. I mean, look at what happened to me and Penelope. A prenuptial? You are definitely fired. Good night. Well, I'll call you in the morning when you're calmer. I'm perfectly calm, thank okay. you. Good evening. You have Timothy Winters here, I believe. Mrs Blackwell, yes? Can I offer you my sincerest condolences? Please, come in. No. I'll wait here, thank you. Right, I'll fetch Timothy for you. Oh, blah. Timothy? Your sister's here for you. I think she's got a cab waiting. I never go to Guildford. They don't like me there. They don't want me in Guildford. She doesn't want me. Oh, I'm sure she does. I mean, she's here for you. Come on. What's going to happen to me then? I don't know, Timothy. But I'm sure it'll be OK. Come on, Timothy. Look both ways. Oh, Timothy. We're going to go and get your things now. Goodbye, William. I'll call you in the morning. Hello? Hi. Oh, my dear. Hey, got my messages. Yeah. What a day. Let's have a bath. Are you all right? Oh, just wondering what the future holds for that Down syndrome lad. Who looks after him? I don't know. His sisters, I guess. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I got that. that. Got it. All right. Oh. So, bigger bath. Bigger bath, yeah. Oh, diaries. Oh. Oh. Right, waiting. Um, where are we now? Oh. oh. We're in here. But I need the loo. And another toilet. Dad, Well, can't you go in the garden? Dad! Mum, it's Gran. Gran's on the phone. Oh, tell her I'll call her back. But I said you're here and it's life and death. Oh, Terence. And your skanky kids trod on pizza into the carpet. Terence. His name's Timothy. But he has. Looks like a palace, not a bedsit. Bogdan had never recognised his little ring. Yeah, the bed needs to be there because it's the mirrors that make the difference. And you can see them from there. Uh, and this over there? Yeah, but not tonight. Life's funny, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Oi. How long do we wait? You know, after their wedding. Bogdan. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> Doesn't this look grand, huh? <laughs> Bogdan. Rick. 
<laughs> You're meant to be in Poland. No, 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 you all matey. I'm meant to be here. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Is she turning your trick? This is Molly. Huh? Molly, yeah? Sorry, is it, uh, is it your mother? Molly? Molly? Molly, please! Come on. That was our home. I know. I know, and I'm sorry about Bogdan. And of course we don't want to live in a van, but I... Molly? Molly, come on. I love you. You're my life, yeah? You're my sunshine. I'm going to find another place. A better place. A better home. A home. Am I your sunshine? Yeah. Look at me, I'm tanned all over. I've got Factor 50 on here. <laughs> I know where we can go. It's just we're desperate. Yet we've nowhere to go. Oh, you're a saviour. Oh, Mary, I love you. <laughs> no, I've got my keys. You've got... What do you mean, you've got keys? Well, I used to live there. No, I had a couple of sets. Mum? Mary, don't get angry now. Well, thanks, at least for asking, I suppose. Oh, <laughs> I love you. Yeah, love you too. Bye. <laughs> you know, she's still got keys to my flat. Yeah, and we've got a pink carpet. Oh, look. Let's name the day tomorrow night, huh? I like your idea of making it special. Come on, I'll take you out, somewhere we can't be interrupted. Yeah, but I got quiet tomorrow, then banned the next day. All right, then, um... No, 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 no. I'll ditch the choir and the band. What? Yeah, I don't need all that stuff. I got you now. What do I want all that for? No, but you love music. No, that's what you always wanted to do. Don't you dare ditch them. We'll do it Friday. How about Friday? Yeah, Friday's good, but it's three days away. All right, well, what about tomorrow before choir? No, 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 no. We've got to look at new Undertaker's premises tomorrow morning. All right, well, Friday it is, then. OK. Um, where's Brendan? So, here we are, then. Have you got the...? Oh. After three? One, two, three. Nice. Yeah. God, yeah. Here. Oh, hello, old home. <laughs> oh. oh, it's a lot bigger than your bed set. <laughs> oh, look what I found. <laughs> Put some music on. Yeah, what do you fancy? Uh, something soft and romantic. I know. Barry White. Rick. Rick. Yeah, yeah, I'm just looking for Barry. Oh, yeah, Jay, well done. Night, Dad. I'll make appointments to see all of them. Dad. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm going to turf the kids off the computer now. Hey, where have you been? To yeah. the flat. Yeah, well, yeah to pick up what? Where is it? Okay. Oh, couldn't Bye. find it. Couldn't find it. Sorry, guys. Yet. I need to get an email. Hello? William. Hi. Guess who? <laughs> Ruben. Oh, wow. Man. <laughs> I mean... Gratitude, yeah, and respect. What do you want, Ruben? Yeah, right. Ruben always wants something, eh? You mean you don't? <laughs> I did a bad thing. Demanding money like that. But listen to that, right? It's a band, right? They're doing a small scale, big tour. Those are the dates. And ten grand gets me a slice of the action. They're hot, right? Hot, you know? I mean, you get your money back, no worries. Money back plus, yeah? You mean you want me to give you 10 grand? Let's check them out. 
If you think they're no good, I'm asking for nothing, OK? Give us a bell and um, thanks for showing up, man. Space in there. What I want to show you is through here. Oh, there's a thing. Oh, uh, oh, I can get rid of that for you. Oh, no thanks. It's in an extremely poor state of repair. Please sit. And let us now take some private time to remember Agnes. Put me somewhere, aren't they? Yeah. Timothy, come here. Come on. Any news from the estate agents, William? Hmm? About our offer? No. You think we should have made a bigger offer? Uncle Joe said that. Put that down. Put both down, Timothy. Oh, really? Can't do this, Timothy. Oh. Don't look so glum, Mr. Shawcross. Sorry. Uh, can I introduce June Baxter? June works for Down Syndrome Association. How do you do? June's very confident that Timothy, with support and possibly one or two carers, will be able to stay on in his home. Really? Well, he's led a sheltered life, but he's learning fast oh, no, and wants to stay on. And... Walk off! 
Well, as you can see, he tends to uh, get what he wants. Excuse me, sorry. Undertaker's phone going off at a funeral. Very bad show. <laughs> okay. Yes, Jay. Thank you. It's ours. That's actually quite dangerous. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're an undertaker again. I mean, a proper one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Needs a lot of work, but it's good. How about you? How was your day? Oh, don't ask. Why? I'm asking. Oh, you know, single mum, just had a second baby, no, no family, no support, just me bullying her. Oh, I bet it was good bullying. That's <laughs> good bullying about. We absolutely love it. Sorry, I heard the key in the door. That flat is our dream. I will do anything. Any manner of babysitting. Yeah, odd jobs, decorating. Hi. Hi. Anything at all. And, well, you're getting married and you're living here now and it's such a fine house. So, uh, please, please, please. Can we have it? Can we? Can we? Can we have it? Can we have a flat? We can, can't we? Is ours the flat sound? She hasn't actually said that yet. Yeah, your knee. What's the word? Mm, yeah. Yay! Ah! <laughs> oh. Thank you. So, hey, uh, when's your wedding day? Yeah, when's when? Oh, well, we, um, we're going to meet and have a chat about it tomorrow, but um, we think basically in about five months. Five months? Mm -hmm. Five. I can't wait five months. <laughs> well, you're going to have to. Well, in that case, Rick and I have got an announcement to make. Yeah. In 16 days, because that's all it takes, that's all the time you need. No, Rick and I are going to be wed. I can't believe you're doing this to me. Well, I I'm getting married. Well, well, say something. Well, congratulations. C congratu... Yeah. Oh, Rick asked me a long time ago. It's true. Five months. And we're having a flat. Come on, look, we're, we're all family. We're all family. We're all family, aren't we? And we all love each other. Oh. What? Mary, listen. How can she do that to me? Listen to me. Mary, Mary. <sighs> Be happy for them. Oh. Mary, we're going to be happy for them. We're going to give them a fantastic wedding. Uh, Steady. In fact, that's going to be our wedding present. Too. <sighs> but I promise you, our wedding, and I've already started making... Oh, well, I'm not going to tell you about that. But our wedding, yours and mine's going to be... Bought that today for tomorrow night. I thought it'd be special, but it's uh, that's quite special here now, isn't it? Yeah. Try it on. <laughs> yeah. Let them get married. <laughs> <laughs>